Ryan with victory at Newcastle last week. Is there a real feeling of momentum building in this Saints camp? Yeah, definitely. I feel, uh, especially against Bath, we've got a fair few good wins now in the, in the Premiership and we're sitting where we want to be in third place. And that's, a, that's a testament to the lads who come in and, and we, we've done a job over the past few weeks, but I don't think it's been perfect, which is maybe a positive as well because you know, we've got things to work on, but we're still winning games, we're not playing maybe the most flow and rugby that we could offer. Uh, but yeah, the lads are feeling confident going into this weekend, we know it's a big test, and I think it's going to show where we're at at the moment. You mentioned there's still maybe more to come, you've been scoring tries recently a lot though. Um, where, where exactly do you think that the improvements can come? I think our set piece has been really good for the back um, I feel like just accuracy maybe we uh, kind of dropped a, dropped a lot of balls, especially in the second half against Bath and the first half against Newcastle. Um, we turned over the ball a lot, but I think when we get in our, our, uh, our phase play, when we keep hold of the ball, we've got our power runners running. I feel the likes of Ben Folden and Vasek are very good on the wing, and Jay Metz has been doing well. Now Ashley's coming back in this week. Um, it's going to be. It's, uh, we, we've got potent, threat, potent threats all over the pitch and, and, we, and we know that, we just have to keep all of the ball and, and keep our intensity in the game and uh, not a lot of teams can live with it. Last couple of weeks, um, kicking in behind paid dividends for the Saints, is that something that you sort of talk about in the week or is it just something that happens, you see the space? No, no, yeah, it's definitely something we talk about. Um, I think uh, a lot of full-backs come up pretty early on folds and um, just try and, keep, uh, try and keep them under wraps and they do need a bit of space in behind. But I think they've got to read it on the pitch as well. And I think last week I've been kicking a few out of the falls, hopefully uh, I get my range finder back um, back in the mix. But yeah, it's been it's, it's been a bit of a tactics work for my first uh, last few weekends, but I'm sure our teams are going to uh, analyse that and, and cover it and we'll have to go somewhere else. Looking at Harlequins, there's some big names in their team. Um, Nick Evans may or may not play, but then there's Rory Clegg who can step in as well. Um, personal battles for yourself, do you look forward to those? Oh, I mean, Nick Evans is a class player, everyone knows that. I think he's been most probably the stand-up flyer from the Premiership over the last few few years. And, and uh, he's, he's obviously playing one of the, one of the best uh, tens in the Premiership. And I think if Cleggy plays as well, he offers a lot. I think I've played against him a few times and, and they're both very solid players. Uh, so it'd be, it'd be a challenge, whatever it is, but I think I'm not really worried too about who I'm playing against. It's more uh, trying to pose our game plan on the opposition and uh, hopefully I'm back into that. Uh, we, we get some points on the board. Next few weeks coming up, how big are they in the in the grand scheme of the season? I think this Friday is massive. We're not really looking forward uh, too far past Quinns. Uh, we know they're, so, they're a solid team. They're playing very well. Uh, massive, huge start to the season, which they had. and uh, They, they can't the momentum into Europe as well. Um, and, and we know it's a massive test, and I think we're looking forward to the challenge there. Uh, they're going to come here, and, and we, we're going to find out where we are as a squad and where we are as a team. And... Uh, I feel like it's going to be packed out in front of his garden, there's nothing better on Friday night, so I'm sure uh, we're going to put a lot of pressure on them and see where they are.